You cannot pass. Oh, huh. pardon me. Say, you want to just make a map already? The first order of business lies in assembling our resources. And the first resource is the one that we've been making together over the last three videos. And it's the one style to rule them all style for our GIS Pro. You can download it here. And then we'll scoop up some water resources from the amazing and always useful natural earth. Oceans, lakes, rivers, and then the meat and potatoes, land cover, paper textures. We're gonna get those from Living Atlas. And here are those natural earth layers that I just mentioned. Rivers, lakes, and oceans. And then via the view tab, I'll activate the catalog pane. And the catalog pane has a group called styles. I'm gonna add our style, one style to rule them all, to our project. And now I'm gonna set the background color of my map. I'll right click the map row in the table of contents and choose properties. In the general tab, I'll expand the background color and look at that one style to rule them all it has a little background color for me all ready to go, okay. And let's actually take a quick tour of some of these symbols that we've just added via that style. I'll zoom in on this little sample polygon and we'll walk through what we've got. Forests, mountains, lakes in a light color, lakes with a dark inkiness to them, light oceans, dark oceans, deserts, just blank, foothills, forests but with cool autumnal hues, a swamp, grassland, and that's it. And we'll just set this lake polygons symbol back to lakes dark. And we'll zoom back out. And if you're at all curious about how any of these symbols were made, check out the previous vi videos in this series. And then I'll set the river to the river symbol and the oceans to the dark ocean symbol. Now this ocean is a relatively complex layer, so it could take a while to draw. Just be aware of that. And I'll add the most sneaky and crafty and fun of all these layers. And it's from Living Atlas and it's paper textures. I'm going to choose folded paper texture and parchment texture. And I'll drag these two paper textures to the top of my layers list. The folded paper, I'll give a blend mode of color burn and this bakes the textures in to the map instead of just them floating as a semi-transparent layer on top and the parchment texture will get a blend mode of multiply and I like that parchment texture so much I want more of it so I'm gonna choose control and drag this layer down to duplicate it now I have two parchment textures and guess what I'm gonna duplicate these so I have a total of four parchment textures diabolical and now I'll add some earthy features to our middle earthy map I'll open living Atlas and I'm gonna search for eco regions and fortunately this resolve data set is just perfect but if you're looking for larger scale areas to map check out these North American terrestrial ecosystems and I'll drag this underneath all my other layers really so I can see the cool paper textures on it oh man it's awesome and then I just like you know click on each of these categories and choose the best looking option and if you zoom to a different location and you need to switch it up do it the important thing is to have fun and breathe a bit of wonder and mystery into some geography. And maybe your map will capture an audience that it wouldn't have found otherwise. Some aesthetics will just catch the eye of people that might not give your map a look in the first place. Or it might just spark a bit of joy or a smile, which of course is its own reward. Oh, and here's one that I made using the North American ecosystems data. A lot of fun. Thanks for watching this series with me. I hope you give it a shot, and happy mapping. It's a dangerous business, fantasy mapping in a GIS. And if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you'll be swept off to.